Hello players, welcome back to World Thanks, welcome back to World Thanks epic battle episode today, another epic battle and what a battle this is. The shoulder is heavy from the words we are getting. So this game is played by Marty Vole and he's from Fame Clan, so pretty, pretty famous clan and pretty good players in Fame Clan. But this game was sent to me once again by Acecott, as you remember he sent that D62A game as well, so thank you Acecott for feeding me up with epic games. But let's move on and let's get into the action. Uh, right away it is just too good to see good medium players and um, you can recognize good medium players by positioning. Right after the game clock stopped ticking, he went uh, straight towards the middle and behind his uh, trees and brushes and pushes and whatever and started spotting, started doing the work. Basically started doing dirty work. Now uh, took the few shots himself as well, still spotting. So we know Jack Tiger is going most likely behind um, that C2 building over here. And Jack Panzer is behind E2. So we know two uh, dangerous tanks positioning. And we are still spotting them. Thanks to our spotting, our team is killing. I say it, maybe you are dead as well. And pounce, and we are out of ammunition. Budget maybe. Come on. He's climbing up the hill and uh, yeah, he's gone. So we're out of ammunition and it is time to go and really nice to see guys behind us. Well, we can say they are camping, but uh, at the moment they are not camping because um, thanks to them we were able to kill two tanks, VK and T-34 and we were able to nail at IS-8 as well. And I believe one shot went to, into Jack Panzer as well, so yeah. Job well done, and we have to say thanks to them, because when when we, uh, you are doing spotting runs, you always have to be sure that there are guys who are shooting at, at tanks you are going to spot, because, well, obvious reasons, no need to explain why. But um, time to move, and uh, yeah, I believe I can call this episode how to play with budget or how to play with medium tank, you have to be moving you have to be constantly moving all the time move move spot move take the shots i care spotted amx 50 100 few shots into him anyone else amx 50 or 75 one shot he penetrated us because we are made of paper one shot into him as well and uh, let's go and reload because only two shells left but yeah, in medium tanks and in uh, budget especially, because budget is just, uh, budget speed is just epic. You have to be moving, you have to work even when you are reloading. You have to spot enemy tanks. Right now, he was thinking about uh, going somewhere, but a spotted object, maybe taking few shots into him. Okay. 110 is covering that other side and uh, we are going for uh, 75. Yeah, let's kill that bastard because he can be a really annoying bastard. Uh, really distracting for our team. But object was able to take one shot into us. 362 damage. But we managed to dodge a max shot. So one shot versus one tank. I take it. Reloading once more, and while we're loading, we are repositioning. All is working, working, working. That's good to see. So far, two kills, three, three thousand damage, and a lot of spotting. As I said, a lot of dirty work. We are doing a lot of dirty work, and Patchet is the kind of tank in which you can do a lot of dirty work and a lot of killing as well. So Object didn't um, think about us, well in obvious reason that was pretty smart play by us to flank, flank him and he went straight towards 110. But 110, luckily we were able to support him. Without that he would be dead. Object 430 is um, 
rate of fire is just too good for for 110 to deal with and uh, low profile and armor as well i believe close range especially so wrote right now 4000 damage three kills and uh, we are losing six to nine actually so we have to do something some work soon we are reloaded again done 16 shots left not too many we have to be careful with our shots 2 HP has 8 come on are you kidding me kaboom AMX 5100 dead artillery splashed 183 as we saw and he's going for IS3 or Patton and you're going for IS3 wow weird really weird uh, why you're not going for for the Patton he's much more important target Denial freeze, and you were able to kill that pattern with three shots. And last two shots into I3, but well, okay, that was your decision. I would have gone for that pattern instead, but all in all, uh, two tanks dead, two IS3s dead. Still nice. Re re reloading, repositioning, just just perfect, just perfect medium lay. And this is, guys, how you should play medium tanks. Move, move, and move. Sometimes take the shots as well, but move, spot, dirty work, shoot, la la la. Pattern, come on, yeah, tunnel vision in action. And he's dead. That guy even didn't notice us, I believe. I7, I shot. Kaboom. Nice. Two tanks with one clip. Two extremely important tanks in this game are dead. Both tier 10s. But uh, we have two really biatch tanks left. Jack Tiger and Jack Panther E100. And uh, as I said uh, in the early stage, Jack Tiger went behind that C2 building and Jack Panther is behind E2 building so let's reload last seven shells which sucks obviously but we have still 183 left so we have to spot for him hopefully we can uh, kill artillery while we are trying to spot him okay nice there we are and he was able to take the last shot. Hopefully he missed. Let me see. 183's HP. Yeah, he did miss. Nice. So, decent one. Um, we should go spotting. We should split up. Okay, he's saying go cap. Well, that's not a bad idea. Just to lure them out. To secure the victory. Because uh, Jack Tiger and uh, Jack Panther are pretty slow tanks. Jack Tiger is faster. And spotting isn't so bad idea actually. Jack Tiger spotted. So reloaded. Well, a nice 183 did hit him. And Cabo is dead. Got him and last three shells. Where is uh, Jack Panzer E100 behind that building? Seems like he's moving because he went out from the cover. The last position was away from the building. Yeah, we should do the spotting job just in case. Can we get over the fence? Oh, there we go. So if we we are able to get the full speed and yeah that decent one didn't go for the gap if we can get the full speed and we should be able to outrun the jack panzer e100 stirring ratio but uh, we spotted him he's going up the hill uh, really clever actually uh, nice positioning when you're one versus three tanks for example nice position high ground you can see everybody He's turning, luckily for us, one went in, and Patchett, hello artillery, he's turning for artillery, nice. Really nice game, well done. 
just um, this is how you should play budget in my opinion and what did we get as I told you our shoulders are heavy with rewards master bats ace tanker 2341 experience with 74,000 credits um, it doesn't show the missions or without missions so I don't know it could be the standard um, standard standard uh, credits Bradley Walters medal, high caliber, top gun, patrol duty, scout, tank sniper, so all the good stuff in here, all the stuff you you see when, um, all the stuff and you know you did, good job, we helped your team tremendously, patrol duty, scout, and 8263 damage with 8 kills. Sad to see only 1.5 thousand raw experience, but this is what you get in tier 10 vehicles when you're facing uh, lower tier tanks. But uh, yeah, just epic job. Our 183 did a nice game as well with 5000 damage. Their Jack Pantry 100 was the most damage dealer. Yeah. Shots fired 29, Turk hits 28. Penetrations 25. We had few weird bounces on I3 and I8, but not going to complain. Hits received 5, penetrations 5, obviously. <laughs> Enemy vehicle spotted 10, damage 12, destroyed 8. Damage to your assistance 3.7 thousand, and distance traveled 4.86 kilometers. <laughs> Running and cunning, and uh, exactly 100,000 credit profit. So, epic game, in my opinion, and this is how you should play medium ranks and uh, how you should play budget. Just, uh, even when you're reloading with budget, do the dirty work, do the spotting job, always be active, always try to help your team. And uh, this brings you victories and epic scores like this. So, hopefully guys, you learned something, and um, yeah, at least I did. I enjoyed and I hope you enjoyed it as well. So if you have any epic battles like this, as always, you know what to do. Send the replays to these moments at gmail.com and uh, we'll see. Maybe you can be in our next episode. So far, that's it. I'll catch you next time. Bye.